Hi, I'm Dewey Hollister, the Executive Director of the St. George Village Botanical Garden, the Botanical Garden of the Virgin Islands. And today I'd like to show you a really cool tree in our collection. This is chocolate. So this is the source of commercial chocolate. And this one's a little bit of a small tree yet, it's young. Uh, but it, it's a good example of what a chocolate tree looks like. They're usually multiple trunks, as you see here. They have these amazing long leaves uh, that tend to hang down like you're seeing here. They are a moisture and shade demanding tree. So here we have them planted in our stream bed and we're underneath the canopy of other trees that gives it the shade it needs. And this young tree has already produced a pod so far, but as it gets a larger, it will start producing more and more. The flowers form along the base of the trunk and up and down the main branches. The pod will be stuck to the trunk of the tree. It'll be a ribbed pod, maybe orangey yellow in color. And inside will be the actual chocolate seeds or chocolate beans, depending on how you want to say it. They're actually a seed inside a seed pod. And that is what gets processed into the actual chocolate that you and I know. Uh, the botanical name of this tree is Theobroma cacao. Theobroma comes from uh, the Greek and means food of the gods. And that's because the native peoples of Central America held this tree to be sacred, uh, and particularly the use of chocolate as a ceremonial sort of thing. Um, there are debates amongst uh, scientists and archaeologists as to how much it was used and by whom. You know, was it just the upper classes that used it? Was it just reserved uh, for important gatherings of people? What we do know about chocolate is that it was always served as a liquid. In the New World, in, with the Maya peoples and the Aztecs, it, it was a bitter drink. So chocolate seeds are very bitter and they are or were mixed with water and maybe some chili peppers and other things. And so it was very spicy, kind of bitter kind of thing. Eventually, of course, Europeans arrive in the New World, take the seeds back to the Old World, combine them with uh, sugars to overcome the bitterness. And there too, it originally started out as a drink, but the sweet chocolate that we know about began to be developed there. And then eventually they figured out how to make actual solid chocolates. But the first they were liquids, traditionally in, the, in Central America and later in, in Europe. So theobroma, meaning the, the food of the gods, I think we'd all agree it definitely tastes like that. Cacao, the species name, is the name that the native folks in Central America referred to the tree. So this was cacao to them. So the, the botanical name will always tell you a story. And in this case, it talks about how the use of the, of the food, maybe a ceremonial, and also the original name of the tree. Uh, it is very important in the world's economy today. Most chocolate is produced in West Africa, which is not its home, but it is cropped there in large quantities. We do hope uh, we get a lot more chocolate as time goes on. The first seed pod, if you're wondering, that came off of here, we opened it up and took the seeds out and they are actually growing up in our nursery right now. So we'll have lots of little baby chocolate trees coming along. Well, I really appreciate that you came uh, with me today on this little journey into the history of chocolate. And I invite you to enjoy chocolate. And while you're doing it, think about the actual tree from the new world that is the source of that. And I look forward to seeing you on our next visit.